So, hey guys, Bats here, and today we're back with another drug story, and, uh, you know, this is just one that I really thought I should get out as uh, soon as possible. It's just something I, you know, kind of wanted to talk about, uh, and I thought it would be a fucking banger of a video. So, here we are. Um, this is gonna be my first time doing DXM Polyester X, or the extended release kind of DXM, you know, the shit that's in Delsum. So, in my day, I've done quite a bit of DXM. Uh, you know, it's easily obtainable, you know, it's just, you know, it, it, it's just easy to get, easy to do, you know, that type of shit. But I've always kind of, like, had a very mixed relationship with, uh, DXM, because, you know, I, the way it's always been is that I've all, like, the kinds I've always done, it's always been the HBR kind. The HBR kind is always in these, like, big-ass fucking, like, eight- fluid ounce bottles that you have to drink like half of to feel anything and a lot of the time there's just going to be a bunch of other shit in it too like there's just going to be a shit ton of like acetaminophen or guaifenesine that's going to make you sick or fucking destroy your liver right so it's always just been like a thing that i just i never really want to do much and when i do i don't i never do much because you know it's probably gonna fucking kill me right you know so it's, it's just it's never something that i've like it's never something that I've done a lot or, you know, really been too into. Um, and I, and I never even really like looked too far into it. Like I looked in, like I looked into DXM as a whole, but I never looked into the various kinds. I never, I didn't even know there was multiple kinds until not too long ago. And when I found out about the polyester X kind, I, you know, I was looking into it. I was figuring out what the fuck it is. And I figured out that it was in Delson, right? So I go and I'm looking at that and I realize, Hey, there's nothing, there's no other active ingredients in this. That sounds fucking perfect, right? So, theoretically, it's like, you know, no, you know, you don't get sick. It's not gonna kill you, and unless you, you know, go way too overboard. Like, it just sounds like a general win-win, right? So I'm like, alright, shit, bet. And, you know, a day before, on uh, Sunday, you know, I went up to the fucking local... Uh, you know, grocery store, walked in there, I grabbed a bottle of that, as well as uh, a bottle of some Benadryl, but that, uh, that's a whole nother story, uh, and, you know, I saved it for the, for the next day, and, you know, that day, I woke up, uh, feeling absolutely quality, right, ready for some online school, actually, like, the only day I've actually woken up on time for, uh, online school in a long-ass fucking time, um, <laughs> And, uh, the reason I woke up so, you know, just quality and refreshed is literally, it's another story and stuff. Like, the past couple of days have, has given me a good couple of stories, but this is just the one I wanted to talk about. So, you know, I wake up, I, I go through, you know, the school day, and, you know, I'm just cooling. Um, and I did try to do this thing where you, uh, you pour it into water, and you wait for all the power it to, because... DXM polyesterx isn't entirely, like, water-soluble, so if you, like, leave it for too long, it'll, like, all sink to the bottom like sugar does. Uh, so, you know, that's just a thing you can do. Um, and it, it worked. The thing is, I fucked it up. Um, I did it wrong, and I fucked it up, and, you know, I, I was glad that I only used half the bottle for that, so I still had enough to get fucked. Um, and, you know, it got to the point where I decided, okay, yeah, I'm gonna drink this, and we're gonna see how it goes. So... I had my juice, you know, I was sitting there, and I was, you know, because I was ready to have to, like, you know, just start chugging this, and then, you know, just have to start chugging the juice immediately after, because in my experience, that shit tastes like ass, you know? All of my other experience, that shit has tasted completely fucking horrible, it's just, the, like, the worst shit ever. And, you know, I open this up, and I start throwing it back, and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, this shit is fucking fire, yeah, it literally tasted like thick Kool-Aid. Like, it, it was fucking great, and I, I, I think I should clarify, because I feel like this whole video is just gonna be me sucking, like, basically sucking DXM Polyesterix's dick. Um, I don't recommend that anybody do this, alright? This video is purely for educational and entertainment purposes only. Do not fucking do this, alright? Don't be a fucking, don't do this. Um, but anyway, let's, let's just get back on track here. You know, so, that went surprisingly well i got that down really fast and you know then i was just chilling and i feel like the only thing 
that I, I could say I didn't really like about this whole thing, but also I kind of did, is that it just took so long to hit. It took uh, like two hours to kind of go into full effect. Um, so yeah, it, it was kind of a long wait, but it was a um, really like gradual uh, come up. You know, it was a really smooth come up and come down. You know, I feel like a lot of things, and especially like, you know, DXM HBR, it's like a very harsh uh, come up and come down kind of. Uh, the come down a lot less so, but the come the come up and come down of this was very smooth. Uh, and you know, I was just it, eventually it got to the point where it was hit, you know it hit, and I you know I hopped on the Cold War beta. Uh, and I actually recorded this whole uh, process, which I'll probably have that video out uh, soon as well, so you'll get to see that. That shit was hilarious. And it was like, it was so weird, because it wasn't like what I was expecting. This is the only drug I think I've ever taken that it wasn't at least somewhat like what I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to just be like a longer, you know, kind of version of, uh, you know, the DXM HBR, right? But it, it wasn't exactly like that. It was like, it was the similar like lightness, but it wasn't like the same like kind of like drunk feeling. Like whenever I drank the HBR kind, I would always like, you know, ha you know how when you're really drunk and you like move your head and like, you know, it, everything like kind of double visions and like traces behind itself. I didn't get that at all with this. I didn't get the like really like lazy, like kind of like, you know, just like lay in bed and just like, like sit there and listen to music for hours, kind of like feeling even like, like I kind of wanted to like move around and like do shit. It was really weird. It was like, like the feeling, it was like, like it had the like, kind of like smooth come up and like gentle, like feeling of actual lean, like the codeine kind where it's like, it's not a really like harsh, you know, thing where it just like, it really like, sh like really smacks you. Like, it's just kind of like a chill thing, but it also, it, like, it, it felt like being, like, it literally felt like being in a dream. Like, if, you have, if you've ever woken up uh, from a dream and you're just, like, you, you know, you, like, you think, like, and you still remember it, like, a little bit after you wake up and, like, you, like, the way you remember it is, like, this, like, kind of, like, foggy, like, you know, tunnel vision kind of thing. It's, like, surreal. And it was, it was really fucking, it was just really weird. It was like, it felt like a combination of like a bunch of different drugs. Like it didn't feel like, you know, DXM normally did for me. It was so weird. I just wasn't expecting it at all. And I was just like, you know, I, I was just like cool. I was just cool with everything. I was just chilling, you know, it was, I was just vibing. And it, yeah, it was just, it was such a weird experience. It was just, it was fucking lit, dude. Like, I was just going crazy, going stupid. You know, I was just cooling, and it just, like, it's so hard to explain exactly how, like, it felt, because, like, like I said, it was, like, the smooth kind of, like, come up and come down, and, like, the light, you know, kind of, like, feeling of, like, codeine, but it was also, like, kind of, like, the, the, like, eufor like the euphoria and, like, the happiness, and, like, the energy that you get from, like, Molly. And it was just, it was just a, it was just a, like, and it was like, kind of like the dissociation, like the, um, you know, like you can't really like feel shit and you know, like you're not exactly like entirely like feeling everything of like ketamine. And technically DXM is like a dissociative, right? You know, if like when one, like if you drink like a whole bottle or two of this, you know, you're gonna get that like ketamine like dissociation. And that's, I think that was like, kind of the the part that was like the best about it it's like it's like ketamine like, like it was like better ketamine i've done ketamine and i like you know ketamine is cool but i didn't expect to like this more than ketamine like it, it was personally it was way more fun i don't know it's just it you know it was and it lasts fucking forever it lasts it lasts 12 hours and i think out of that 12 hours like four to six, I was pretty zooted, you know? So it's like, it, like, think of it this way. Like you could, like, you could, like, if you had to go to work or you had like a long meeting or something, you drink half a bottle of Delsum, you won't get too fucked up, but you'll still be chilling. Like you'll be able to function and you'll be able to do shit. And, you know, 
not look like a fucking idiot like if you took some fucking xanax or something or if you did like a bump of ketamine you know you you're not gonna be a complete fucking retard you can still do shit but you're gonna be cooling and it's gonna last your entire work day or whatever event you have to go to and you know i it's just crazy how i never like knew about this before so you know there wasn't really a whole lot that was crazy about like what happened like what i did because really i just fucking played call of duty and was cooling the entire time the crazy part about this story was more just the effect and just you know how i wasn't really expecting it to be like this now once again don't fucking do this it's you know honestly pretty stupid and if you don't you know do your research and do it right you're probably gonna you know you're probably gonna fuck something up and you know die or some shit so don't fucking do this you're you know don't don't be an idiot like me right i may have made it sound really good but don't fucking do this <laughs> like it's really stupid but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more drug stories, uh, I do have a more eventful one that might come out today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this was just this is just a cool thing I wanted to kind of get out, you know, kind of fast. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like or a comment or whatever if you want to see more of these. Uh, and yeah, hope you guys have a good day. See you later, fuckers.